Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to continue the journey in learning how to use progression. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So as usual, we are inside AUM, I have a MIDI channel with progressions, and this time I have loaded Creole Synth from GSI as a, an, an an audio source, therefore, inside an audio channel, and I've connected the two um, as we normally do. So this is what uh, uh, the synth sounds like, and a new tutorial is coming shortly on it as well. Nice and simple, and also very effective. But as I said, there will be a new tutorial coming shortly. Okay, let's go back to progression. And uh, let's generate uh, a sequence. Click and hold on generate. So the first thing I would like to um, to cover is that uh, there have been some changes in uh, the latest release of progression. So now if you click where it says key and change it, for example, to D, it will change the key on the progression that have been already generated. And uh, it will do that also to your song if you have created a song in and if you don't want that just click on the hamburger menu go to the synth teens and what it says song transpose on just turn that to off if you don't want the song to be transposed as well so but let's go back to the c key so that is a nice new um additional feature in previous tutorials we have seen how to generate a progression of code how to enable the bass note, open chords, and how to reset chords, etc., etc. Something I wanted to show you, which I haven't mentioned yet, is that you can use this part of the screen to go up an octave or below an octave and also to change the inversion. Um, interestingly enough, if you are set on the first uh, uh, chord, the root chord, and you're trying to change the inversion, it will say you can't invert uh, the root code, the same on the octave as well, okay? But if you were to go to another uh, code, like this one, F major, in the standard um, inversion, so no inversion applied, so you can go up an inversion, and it will say F1, first inversion, started from an A, or you can go further up, second inversion, F2, for, two for second inversion, where it will start with a C. And uh, you can, of course, uh, change that back. And you can go up an octave as well. Oh, down an octave as well. So nice uh, and simple, but um, effective. The other thing that is quite interesting to note is this button edit code, which I haven't really showed yet. So if you press um, edit code and we have the um, F major code selected. You enter the screen when it will show you the um, the code. It will say it is on pad eight. It is F no inversion or zero inversion. And you see the note there. Now you can construct the code as you like. So you can invert it again up and down. You can go um, lower an octave or up an octave. You can also preview it here. And if you click this arrow, which is pointing down, you actually open up the detection of code. So for example, if I was to go into add an E here, it will say now that it is an F major seven. Or if I was to select an E flat, it will say an F seven. Okay, and that's quite um, interesting. If you click and hold on the keyboard, you can also scroll left and right, which is very useful. Okay, so um, as I said, you can invert it like so, up and and down an octave as well. Okay, let's close. And that's um, interesting and um, very powerful at the same time. Um, the other thing which um, I want to sh uh, talk about in this tutorial is the humanize uh, function. So click on it and you have access to these uh, um, menu. So the first thing um, is to notice is you have timing at the top, so which will say humanizing based on timings or humanized based on velocity. And it is very much um, a set of functionalities that will allow you to 
effectively create random variation, almost like errors to simulate more a human playing. So you can do it at timing level and you can have code variation and you can also add additional note variation. So let's try and let's sing, sing to the host like so. You hear it a little bit better if you enable the arpeggio here, like so. Let's try again. So you can hear without timing variation, the airplane is perfect. And if I was to introduce first chord variation, So you notice it some time in variation, which you can also further enhance um, acting on the note variation uh, knob as well. Okay, so let's uh, reset these, double click on the knobs or dials, and then you can do a velocity variation. You can do variation uh, on the code for velocity and additional variation on notes for the particular code which is played. But then what you can also do, do you can boost or cut the bass or boost and cut the top note as well, which is really interesting. So let's start listen to how the first two works. So you should be able to hear, hopefully, if you have a headphones, that um, you had a note uh, variation in terms of velocity. So let's reset those two uh, dials, and now let's uh, uh, boost or cut the bass and also the top note. And you can hear it quite well here when you um, actually boost the bass that uh, the note has been pressed harder or the velocity is higher. And of course you can do the same on top note variation as well. Okay, so that is a, an interesting function and this is definitely useful when you are finalizing your production. So to just add a, a bit of human touch on your playing. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to talk uh, about um, block chords, arpeggiators, strummer, etc. Okay, see you next time. Bye.